Hi besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bella. I always say to stay and subscribe so we can grow together. As seen on today's video, I'll be talking about the steps and tricks on how to pass your DAFAM um, scholarship interview. Firstly, I know you all are tense and you are nervous about the forthcoming interview, but I needed to know this. You got to this stage because your qualifications stood out for you. Your motivational data was outstanding and that is why you are having this interview and in order for you to prepare for this interview you need to be calm it's not easy but try as much as you can to be calm because in my own case i was super nervous and it didn't really help me but however i made it here because my qualifications was good my answers were relatable and they were actually very good and i was honest during my interview so um also, I'll be looking down a bit because I wrote a few things down so I don't forget. So, let's talk about the, the questions and how to answer them. So, in your interview, you'll be asked a few questions, right? For me, I did an oral interview without uh, the interviewer being on the screen. So, it was a pre-recorded interview. You have 10 seconds to actually answer these questions. So, I got questions like, why did you pick sustainable agriculture? What my background was in agriculture? What is my knowledge about soy, about organic agriculture? And how do I intend to, to improve on those things? So having a background in agriculture previously, because I did my bachelor's in agricultural engineering, it helped me out with the interview. So if you have a knowledge in agriculture, it's a plus for you. Now, they ask questions like, what is organic farming? You all know what organic farming is. Probably if you don't know, you have to look it up and then provide some answers for yourself. What is the difference between soy, um, compaction? What is carbon emission? How do you intend to improve soy organic fertility? Or how do you intend to, to improve um, crop production? So I answered this question. However, there's an, a particular question I was asked, right? Which was why I chose to study this course. And for me, why I chose this is because I'm interested in agriculture and um, sustainability. And this is why I pursued this career path. All questions need to be answered within 10 seconds. You have two trials to submit your answers. So when you get a question and you don't have an answer for it or you're too nervous to answer, I would urge you to quickly look online do some quick research over the question write it down try to to have your own answer or an answer that is suitable for that question before answering for the second time this way you can be more composed and calm or better still have an answer for the question without having to to look like someone who doesn't have an answer so if you're in this situation and you don't have an answer for a particular question that was asked quickly go online do some research before taking the second trial this way you submit your answer and then you go on to the next the questions are not extreme questions right? you have at least five questions or less and there are no mathematics no chemistry questions so you don't have to be super nervous about it so and the last question I got was if you'll be nominated for tuition fee waived would you accept the, the scholarship so you guys I opted out for both of them I said yes and I am currently on tuition fee waived I'll be making a video specifically for tuition fee waived and what to expect I hope this video would help you guys with your questions and um, be able to prepare you for your exam. I'll be posting some questions on what to expect in the caption below. So do well to, to go through the caption and you would see some of the questions that was asked and how to, to prepare yourself. So you guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram as well if you have any questions and reach me out on Instagram too and I will do well to reply. Don't be that person who messages without following. So make sure you follow me and then um, I will see to your questions and I hope and I wish you all the best in your exam. And I hope to see you guys soon in Czech Republic if you are coming to Czech or Hungary. So bye guys. See you in my next video.